Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. Okay, we have, wow, Four of Pentacles reversed. Already this really, really feels like a message that something is coming to light, something is coming up to the surface to be revealed. We had the slip about detectives, we've got this message about a repetitious or recurring message that you're hearing or thinking inside your own mind. And I think for many of you it will feel like it's coming from within. Um, and then the Four of Pentacles reversed, which is a releasing, it's an opening up, it's a letting go of something that we've been holding on too tightly, usually because of fear. We have the Page of Cups reversed, so this could be talking about a message I'm hearing that was in the wind. So someone could have sent you a message and for some reason it genuinely didn't get to you. Maybe there was a, a problem with um, your network, their network, if it was something in the post. Maybe it's just, I don't know, gone somewhere and, and someone's only just found it or maybe it was misdelivered or something like that. Um, so that could be arriving. We have the yeah, Wheel of Fortune reverse, Sagittarius energy there. It feels like something that you've been wanting to know that's been trying to find you as well. It just hasn't been time up until now. I don't know why I've got so many cards in this deck that are um, flipped around, but whatever. Um, Nine of Cups reversed with the Moon. Yes, Pisces energy there. Um, yeah, something you've been longing for, wishing for, waiting for, but, you know, with the moon, it's it's almost a feeling of maybe I can feel it around, I'm wondering where it is, when it's coming in, I'm not, you know, seeing any visible signs outside of me, but I'm feeling very intuitively that this isn't something I'm making up, that this is coming. So it does feel like some sort of um, communication, whether it's going to be um, your person of interest here or whoever, you know, if it's someone you're in a relationship with, that they might say something to you or hand you something that's around and to do with communication. Okay, what is this? We have the Knight of Pentacles. See, look at this slow moving energy. This is something actually um, that could be really significant to you because it feels like you've been hoping and waiting for this for some time. Okay, let's see what we have here. The Two of Wands. Yeah, so we're getting movement now. Page of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, and the Page of Wands reversed. We've got three pages. The only one we don't have is the Page of Swords. Um, and that would be a page who goes out, explores, investigates, and gathers up the facts. So I feel like until this turning point, you haven't had hard evidence facts. You've had intuition, gut feeling, suspicions, um, and whatever this is, it's being held back from you on purpose. And I do feel like it's because this Four of Pentacles and, and a Knight of Pentacles person, it feels like the same energy. So it could be you, it could be that... You know how sometimes we want something, but we might not be ready for it. So as an example, what's coming to mind um, is somebody who's like, I really want to see ghosts. So I want to really open my third eye. I want to be um, clairvoyant or whatever it is, you know, something like that. But actually, if they were to see a spirit or a ghost or something, it would terrify them. So <laughs> it hasn't happened for them yet. But now they're starting to relax into it, to open up. They're starting to see smaller things here and there very slowly. So it could be something like that, that you felt, yes, I want this, but also you've known in part, I'm if it happens, I might be overwhelmed or I want it, but only if the answer is what I need to hear or what I want to hear. If it's the opposite, it will it will break me or something, you know, so it was just held back. If this is, isn't your energy, it's the reason this has taken some time um, is because whoever this is, so obviously the person of interest here that you're interested in, they've taken some time to get to a particular point. Um, it could be they've been overcoming some fears, they could have been working on something practical, home, finances, something like that, with it being pentacles, so they may have literally been building something up, some resource, um, but they've needed time to get to this point. Okay, so two of wands, are we going to leap off or not? Page of pentacles reversed, ten of pentacles reversed, page of wands reversed. Um, this feels like news that could change something quite big, it could change um, a relationship, whether it's one you're in with this person, or relationships outside of this connection it could change up something to do with work where one or both of you lives um, or if you live together you know that the home that you live in um so this could you know it feels like it's a short message but it's big it's a short message that will say something like um you know it could just be hello how are you or if you know if you don't live with this person of course um how have you been uh, fine we just had coffee together why are you asking me no. um 
but within this message they're saying by the way i got divorced or um if you're in a relationship with this person do you think we should move house do you th you know we've always talked about going to live in japan should we should we look into it should we make it happen you know it's a short quick thing to say but the implications are pretty huge um, and the reason it hasn't happened till now, like I said, is because one of you has needed time to either be prepared to hear this, receive this, and to be okay no matter which way it goes, or if whoever's, you know, this person, if they're delivering this message to you, they've needed time to get to a point where I think, um, you know, either emotionally they felt strong enough or, or practically they had the ability to back up and take action on whatever um, they're offering, saying, or suggesting here. So that's pretty exciting. It feels like there is something coming in that's, you know, in your opinion, it is long overdue. Um, and I think it's communication that you will be able to say yes or no to. It feels like a question. It feels like you're going to have options. Do you want to do this? Should we do that? Um, and you get to think about it and say yes or no. Let's see, is there any other reason why this is coming through now? Why has this been held up? Anything else? I'm looking particularly at this Wheel of Fortune reversed. I feel like there's something more there. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. Yes, absolutely. So same message. There's been resistance that's no longer there now. Um, not resistance towards one another, but resistance either, you know, something that's been triggered within, something in the surrounding circumstances. Um, but we're ready now. We're ready to deliver this message. We're ready to hear it and receive it. Um, it feels good, though. It doesn't feel like it's... I mean, it might be scary. Like, if you're moving country or home or something, yeah, sure. That's that's scary, but exciting if you're moving by choice. Um, it doesn't feel like it's, it's inherently bad news or anything. You know, with the Nine of Cups, it feels like what's been disappointing is waiting for this. But it's something that's wanted, wanting to be shared, something that's... Well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I wanted it to make sense because I'd already started, but it doesn't. It's something that this person's wanting to share and you're wanting to hear. And the reason I feel they're the ones speaking this information and you're receiving it is because I feel this moon energy is very much you. And this is kind of a receptive, I'm having to wait, I'm looking for the signs kind of um, energy. And of course, with this clear audience, you know, we're hearing something, we're receiving something. Great. So let's put these to one side and let's move into um, a general message. So in terms of the new energy, what is coming through? Let's have a drink as well. Okay, so let's start with this crazy moonology card. So with a North Node and South Node, we could be looking at something around um, work, life purpose, um, making a really big career move that feels kind of scary, very different um, to whatever was happening before or with studies. Um, okay, so South Node, don't let your past hold you back. Um, the South Node, like the North Node, is a karmic point, but it's opposite to the North Node and relates to the past, perhaps even to past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age-old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. And where it says age-old here, I actually wanted to read it as old age. So whatever age you are, you know, even, even if you're 20, there might be something in your mind that's saying, I am too old to make this change. Um, people at my age don't make this particular change in life, whatever that change is pertaining to. And the message here is saying, don't let that programming um, hold you back. How do you feel within? What do you think of your own specific practical situation? Can you make the change? If so, that's all you need to be concerned with. Um, do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, you even, needs to be released, that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. And it says, attune to the moon. And then the sentence here says, I release the past. Absolutely, it's time for the new. So think about what this could be talking about in your life. Um, I feel it could be some, hmm, 
it just my immediate thought here is something around work and life purpose like specifically moving into an area that feels like you're aligning your work with your life purpose or trying to or wanting to um and the second thing that comes through is about something within the self um so regardless of any kind of relationship around you i feel like this is talking about um self-identity how you're showing up how you're allowing how you are allowing yourself to show up in the world how you're identifying in any particular way you know um, a silly example um it may be up until this point you've always been someone who resonates as being a gardener you love gardening suddenly you're not interested and you want to do something that's um i don't know in more inside the house and you're feeling like but that's not me i love being in my garden i love being outside well maybe that that's who you used to be and that's fine and maybe you still like to, to garden a bit but why don't you allow yourself now to do whatever it is you want to explore within the home um so yeah so i know that's perhaps a silly example but just as well as work career studies that sort of thing and and aligning with life purpose the other message i feel is some of you may be um being like your own taskmaster i don't think that's exactly the expression i'm looking for but kind of really saying to yourself no you are this you must remain this why why can't you change you know and again if it's a feeling of but i'm this age people don't change at this age normally do they well who cares you know <laughs> who cares about people um whether they change or not and you know what maybe they do but they're also telling themselves i shouldn't change so they repress it you don't have to be repressed um, but you can you can make the change. Maybe set the new standard that people can make changes at whatever age. Okay, so let's see what we get with tarot here. Okay, so what's the new energy, please, coming in for my viewers? Any areas you want to bring forward in particular, please? I'm hearing something about Garfield. Um, that's a cat, right? Um, with a scarf. <laughs> I don't know who that's a message for or why, but you know, there you go. Uh, look at this. Seriously, this is such a time for new beginnings and change, big change. We've got judgment here. The energy of Scorpio. Um, yes, okay, we have to admit that if you make this change, it seems like it's so transformative that there is no going back um but why would we want to go back because it feels like you're making a change that's going to feel better more in alignment um and if at some point in the future this isn't in alignment you'll make another change but it will still be pushing you forward there's no going back and going back is not even that's not wanted that's not the goal with my gardening example if you want to go back to gardening okay you will but it's still in the future it's still moving forward it's not going back to gardening at this point it maybe you'll have a new garden you know okay and and once we hear that call really with the judgment card we can try and ignore it but it will just get bigger and bigger and bigger inside of us so yes it might be scary because it's a big change um feels pretty permanent things won't be the same but that is good they will they will be better so much better oh wow three of swords the High Priestess Reverse Pisces. So all that will come from trying to push this inner knowing down is pain and confusion. So if I'm getting a specific message for someone that if you're you're um, thinking, you know, I don't know what to do for work or I don't know what to do for this or that, and you're thinking, 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 um, the reason you can't come up with the solution is because you the answer was the first one. It was the obvious one. It's it's the feeling. Um, but maybe you've overthought it so much or you've tried to rationalize it so much that now you're just completely lost in your thoughts it's not making sense so go back to that first impulse you had when you felt this desire for change what, what was that if you can remember it did you journal about it did you write it down did you speak to anyone okay yes page of pentacles it feels like a, a starting again in some way um that might be how you're thinking of it and that's pretty terrifying especially if you already were at the position of say a king of pentacles and again this concern about age is coming up whether you're 18 28 48 98 there's just a concern about age here um and saying it would be foolish of me to begin again at this point in my life um 
it's not beginning again it's not starting it's, it's maybe beginning something new for the first time but you're not beginning again it doesn't mean that because you start something new right now or you're heading in a new direction that everything previously ceases to exist um you know if we talk about work for example if you're going down this new path you're always going to have that experience maybe those contacts to fall back on if you need to nothing gets taken away from you your experience your knowledge expertise qualifications that remains with you you're just branching out you're gaining new skills doing something new okay the nine of pentacles reversed i wonder if there's a feeling of if i make this change it might be selfish. There was a bit of that message that came through on Monday. Um, it might not benefit other people. So this could also be talking about identifying differently, showing up differently in the world, identifying as the sort of person who is this or likes that. Um, how will people react to this change? I have to say, I don't think it's as big of a deal. It's, it's, it's as big of a thing for other people as it is for you. Um, so they may just shrug their shoulders and say, oh, okay, so you like this now, fair enough. And that's not to diminish it, but it's almost to reassure you. So, um, you know, if you're really in fear of sharing this new part of yourself, um, you, you know, that fear might not be necessary at all. Okay, let's see. One more card, please. Can we have one more card? Anything? Yes. Okay, and then we've got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Well, that feels very significant and poignant here. So this is what we're leaving behind. The Nine of Pentacles is the energy we're stepping into, which is confidence and independence. However, see how they've come up. Both are reversed and the Nine is coming before the Ten, which right now isn't feeling necessarily like a step up to me. It almost feels like we're blocked by what we have already manifested, the person we have become or who we consider ourselves to be. Um... And this, this 9 to 10, that makes sense, right? It feels counterintuitive to go from 10 to 9. It feels like a backward step. It feels like starting something again when it would be silly. But no, because if we think about the meanings of these cards, not just 9 comes before 10, so we should be aiming for 10 after 9. If we think about the meanings, 9, the 9 of Pentacles is an energy of feeling completely content, self-sufficient, you're really seeing the payoff after the hard work of the Eight of Pentacles, you're in your own element, you're so happy with yourself, you're not concerned about what other people think of you. It's a really, it's such a delicious energy to cherish and savour. Whereas the Ten of Coins, yes, that's also very nice, but now we're thinking about maybe the family unit, we're thinking about generations to come, we're thinking about the home, we're thinking about bills, we're thinking about the kids that have to be dropped off here and picked up there we're thinking about you know like all of the things and yes that that whole community is great and if it's work we're thinking about bosses or bosses or colleagues or clients or employees whatever it is that's that's good in a different way um but i think whatever this is representing for you this this community feeling of the ten of pentacles and responsibilities outside of yourself there's a shift you want to make and it will see you going to this energy of the nine of pentacles which is everything is good but i am at least for right now more focused on me and that feels okay it's not selfish um and maybe i will step back into the ten of coins of pentacles here but it will just look a bit different so it could even be um just taking maybe some time out for now taking a couple of weeks off or you know if that applies to your situation and if it's doable um just basically trying to give yourself some room to breathe and almost reinvent yourself except it's not that you're having to think of and force this reinvention it's happened already within it's about giving it time to find its way up to the surface and materialize um so going from the nine sorry going from the ten to the nine is not going down to nine it's reclaiming a sense first of all of okay who am i how do i identify as a person what works for me then going back up to the 10 or it back into the energy of the 10 and rebuilding this community of the 10 of pentacles that is now in alignment with this renewed version of you if you see what i mean so um yeah maybe maybe it's i'm finding a new job maybe i'm doing something now that's in alignment with my life purpose that i now resonate with um 
or if I wasn't doing something that aligned before, I'm doing it now. Or if it's family, it's maybe you need to shift up kind of where you position yourself within the family or um, the roles that you're taking on. Um, relocation can be something about finances. If you have been someone who earned your money, you put it in the bank, you save it. Maybe now you're thinking of, of not just saving it, but trying to bring in extra money on the money that you have saved by investing it in certain places. And maybe you never thought of yourself as someone who would branch out and do that. Well, if you're feeling the impulse, why not let yourself look into it, speak to people who know. So those are just some examples, but over overwhelmingly the, the message and feeling here is, you know, if this is if this message is resonating with you, you know a thousand percent there's a need for, for you to release something and allow yourself to grow, literally spread your wings, reinvent yourself, um, and that feeling's not going to quieten down. What's going to happen if you try to ignore it is pain. And that's already happening to some degree because part of you is longing for this feeling of freedom, independence, um, reinvention. So try to allow it to happen, even if it has to be in small incremental stages. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you can just say, that's it, you know. I'm seeing someone just throwing off their clothes. <laughs> I think that's like a metaphor, but maybe someone wants to become a nudist, you know? Um, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, whether it, whether you can do it right now, immediately, or, or in smaller stages, I think you've got to honor this feeling to get back to this place of calm and peace and not feeling, you know, in pain um, or confused or stressed. And like I said, if you've been in this place for some time and you've kind of lost sight of what is the thing that's going to feel good and natural, Go back to maybe, like I said, did you have any conversations with people? They might remember different things to you, different things you've said. Did you write it down anywhere? Um, hearing um, browser history, internet search history, maybe when you first had this, whatever it, you know, this this feeling, this epiphany or this calling, maybe you Googled something, looked something up. So maybe, you know, that that's still available to go back and check. Um, but yeah, okay, so. Thank you for watching. I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. I'm wishing you the best of luck with this this change because um, it feels so exciting. I'm excited by it. Um, so please, 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 big or small steps, whatever it is, let yourself step into this energy of the new. Um, it's going to be even better. Nothing is going to be lost. Um, Okay, so I will wrap this up here. I'll leave this reading here. What I'm going to do tomorrow, I had a request for the What's Hidden reading. Um, so specifically around a romantic situation. So that's what I'll do tomorrow. But yeah, thank you for being here today. Hopefully I will see you again then. Bye.